this tube now.
top of the harp is the low B stem.
Pentecoste.
Jak to jest tu? guys a little break uh, Tomas what was what was fast for you uh, yes you know guys I have uh, next Tuesday I mean in in a few days I'm going to Norway for a concert tour and in Norway I'm playing a different program, not this one. I'm playing um, many different romantic composers. Jean Dove de Matoso. Thank you, Audrey. Um, so I'm playing like Liszt, Schumann, Schubert, Mendelssohn, Grieg, um, what else? Chopin a little, um, but there is a lot of other, mostly other composers. Mm, but then on the 16th of, no, oh, on the 17th of May, I have the concert here back in Poland. 
uh, which is just one day after I'm coming back from Norway with this program. I mean, this the late Chopin, the, the, the last years of Chopin. So we have last mazurkas, last nocturnes, Berses, Barcarolle, um, and the waltzes, Opus 64. Uh, and so, because I have not so much time to practice um, the... the um, this this these pieces. That's why I just uh, have to play them through before I leave to Norway. Oh, Thomas, like a waltz, you think? Oh, really? I have to I have to think about it. I, but you know, the mazurka is one, two, three, one, two, three. That's the mazurka, right? So uh, the waltz is one, two, three, one, two. Well, uh, let's try. Let's 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 give it a try. I will put it here and let's see. Let's see the difference. So if 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 that's what a waltz, I would play it like this. Uh, okay, Mateusz, I will answer you uh, soon. So, um, first of all, the waltz, the waltz. So a, soft, a slower waltz, but still it's a waltz like this. That's a waltz rhythm. I I recorded a video video about the differences between waltz and mazurka, and I even made this um, funny thing when I played this, you know. Like a mazurka. <laughs> we cannot do it, but I just wanted to show. So if you don't know this video, video please uh, find it on YouTube. The difference between mazurka and waltz. So here, to, uh, Tomasz, I think, I don't know if you agree with me, but when I do this, yam ta ta da dum, yam ta ta da dum, yam ta ta da dum, ta ta da Ta -ta -da -da. That's the mazurka. That's the that's the 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 kuyaviak, No, it's allegretto. It can be a little slower. Maybe you're right. But that's that's the mazurka for me. So I don't know. I have. I might. I, I can. Maybe I will listen to how I played before. I'm not sure, but hopefully I didn't make a waltz. Dziękuję, Wiesławie. Dziękuję bardzo serdecznie. Staram się bardzo tak naturalnie to grać. So about the CDs, there was a um, there was a question whether the CDs will be published on Spotify and iTunes and. And all the platforms, and um, yes, they will. They will be published uh, online. Um, I hope maybe next week finally they will be published at the end of next week. But <clears throat> um, there is the only one little problem with this which I have is that um, to put it on those platforms. Um, they demand the MP3 uh, versions, which, as you know, if you know that the sound, well, this is just pointless because, I mean, the quality of this, well, I have it recorded in a very high quality with a fantastic microphones. Um, the WAV, WAV, um, great, deep, fantastic sound. And then when I do it MP3 for the Spotify or um, then, that it will be more flat. Of course, it will still be okay, but it will not be as um, as good as the original. Mm. Tchaikovsky composed Mazurka, of course. He composed, and you know, he also composed the variations. Very, very beautiful. Is it Opus 14, I think? 
in the Opus 14, there is there, there are a set of variations um, which is so good. And then in one of these variations is the mazurka. It's a very good mazurka. And uh, there is also one variation of Schumann, Schumann style, which is also fantastic. Boataji Gunther, Boataji. To the bell. Oh, we have a lot of uh, people from Brazil. Amo Brazil. Muita, muita gente uh, de Brasil aqui. Hello, Amy. Did you get the CDs? Oh my God, I'm so happy you got the CDs. This is so nice that, you know, people from all over the world can get those CDs. They came to, they went to Hong Kong, they went to Tokyo, they went to United States and Canada and uh, all over Europe. And this is so, so special for me. Um, and just a few days ago, somebody wrote from Australia to me that they want to buy four CDs. So I will ship them to Australia, of course. Why not? <laughs> this is wonderful. Uh, I'm waiting for aliens to write to me from, from some other planet. Hey, we would like to have these CDs. <laughs> um, Victor, of course. Uh, well, I will be a little boring, but I recommend you Hanon exercises. And I even recorded on the YouTube video. Um, so... Um, um uh you can find it uh, i think hanon is the the easiest and the fastest way to improve this thank you very much mateus oh that was so lovely you've been to this concert this is you know this concert was so wonderful i would love to come back but but they don't answer my emails <sighs> that's a problem i i even offered them the solo concert i i, I wanted to come to the Philharmonic just to play solo without orchestra. I don't need orchestra. I like to play solo. But they didn't answer. They didn't answer. So maybe if there is some other venue in which maybe I can try to to come there. Uh, Caroline, thank you. I'm so happy you have those cities and uh, I'm so happy you like them. Uh, the next concert in Poland is in Oświęcim uh, in, uh, in the south. And this will be on the 17th of May. The, um, Audrey, hola! Hola, como estas? Uh, me gustaría tocar más conciertos en, en España. Y ahora um, trato de, de conocer a alguien que me pueda ayudar con esto, alguna gente o algo así, porque... Porque si hablo español también puedo hablar sobre la música antes de tocar, que como sabes me gustaría uh, hacerlo. Eh, y es más fácil para la gente entender todo lo que yo toco, entonces eh, pienso que será más fácil. Uh, sos novio, estoy es blisco. Bien, ¿no? Uh, it's very close to Oświęcim, so you can come to concerts if you are around. Sí, perfecto. Yo hablo español, sí. Hablo español, um, estudio español muchos años y me gusta mucho. Y falo un poco de portugués también. May 17th, yes. May 17th. And the tickets are all actually very cheap. They are not expensive at all because this is the special project. Uh, this The cultural house has this, they call it an open house. They want everybody to afford the tickets. This is a wonderful thing. So they have money from the state, I think, for that. So they don't, uh, are, they are not dependent on the tickets. So they can uh, get like very, very cheap tickets for this. Uh... So, yeah, I love languages. I'm also learning Norwegian now and also Japanese. Um, but Japanese will take me a lot of time. I'm, I'm just beginning. I learned to... Um... Hi, Edinburgh. Hello. How are you? How are you, Kwang? Is that Tian Ru there? Maybe it's too late for her. Say hello to her.
Audrey, uh, gracias. Sí, sí, a mí me gustaría mucho. Uh, tampoco uh, yo sé uh, cómo se arregla. Um, trataba de Barcelona. En Barcelona, en uh, uh, Palau de la Música Catalana, uh, me, me, respon me respondían, me responden que sí, gracias. Um, uh, Vamos a ver y vamos a contactar con, con, contigo cuando estamos interesados, pero por ahora no. Hello, Danilo. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, yes, so, my friends, I will slowly be finishing this meeting. Mm. Thank you, everybody, for uh, watching and for listening. And now, as I said, I'm going to Norway for um, uh, for the concert tour. Uh, there will be 12 concerts there. I will try to post um, here from Norway as much as possible. Maybe I will post shorts uh, because I found this is a new thing on YouTube. I don't really post too much shorts, but if... I want to share something from the tour. I think the shorts are better than than just the regular posts. What's your favorite pianist life? Um, I have, I must say, I have two uh, pianists that I look up very much to. Um, one of them is American pianist Murai Peraya, which I, I I respect highly because he well, everything he plays is just amazing and is full of respect to what composer wrote. I even like his Chopin, uh, which is for me not very easy. I, I'm, with Chopin, I'm, I'm extremely demanding. I'm usually, I, I don't like, because mostly people play artificial Chopin and uh, they are exaggerating many things and this, sometimes they don't play what's written and just getting on my nerves, so I don't listen. But Murai Pariah, is a wonderful um, Chopin player and Bach player. I love his Bach and Mozart and uh, well everything, whatever he plays. I never met him in real life, unfortunately. That's one of my dreams. And the second pianist which I highly admire is Marc Andre Amelin, who is Canadian. And uh, and at the beginning, many years ago, I listened to his CDs and I was not that impressed because I thought he's just a pure technician. You know, he recorded all the Godowski and all this, the highest, very difficult stuff. I thought, okay, this is not my piece of cake. But then in 2008, I, I heard him live in New York City. And this was one of the best concerts I have been ever to. And, uh, and his recordings on YouTube, oh, all of them, the life from concerts are just uh, amazing. So I I highly recommend this pianist. I, I heard him two times live and I talked to him a little. He's a funny guy, very, very, very shy, actually, very, very, uh, very normal, I'll say. That's that's a, a wonderful person. <sighs> Thank you, Sandra. Um, Thank you, everybody. Muchas gracias. Obrigado. Dziękuję bardzo serdecznie. W Dusznikach, tak, ja grałem tam kiedyś. Ja grałem tam w 2010 roku. Um, wtedy, kiedy wygrałem ten konkurs Chopinowski um, um, dla Polaków. A potem już niestety cisza stamtąd. Dinaj, hello, India. Oh, how wonderful to have somebody from this huge country. Oh, I yes, I like Katia Bonatishvili as well. I I I really think she's a great artist. She's a wonderful pianist. Um, also, with respect to the score and and uh, with deep feelings, uh, very natural playing and great technique as well. And Daniel Trifonov, of course, I also admire very much. And Sergei Babayan is also. But if I if I were to mention two, like two, like my my top, that that they would be those two that I told you about. Uh, okay, guys, thank you very much for being here. And uh, I know 
I didn't announce any live. I didn't actually just like one hour ago. I didn't even know I'm gonna do it. But then I thought I, I'm practicing mazurkas. I said okay, let's just open this phone and I uh, Egypt. Are you kidding me? Oh my God! Look, guys, we have like the whole world here. How wonderful! I have never been to Egypt yet. Thank you very much, Osama. Um, the internet is incredible. It's wonderful. We can all get together like from all over the world and just talk and uh, play music. And this is amazing. I have to do it more often, those meetings. Okay, I will go now. Thank you very much all and uh, stay healthy. And um, last question. Okay, my favorite composer. Well, my favorite composer, you will be maybe surprised, from the very early childhood is Piet Piotr Tchaikovsky. That's my favorite composer. I'm talking, I don't playing too much Tchaikovsky. I know, you know, do you know my recording of... Um, Adei Andrade, uh, eu não sei, não sei, hum, porque a hora foi a Noruega uh, por la, la gira de conciertos por uh, três semanas. Então, eu acho que depois de 17 de maio, ok? Porque regresso ao 16 de maio, 17 de maio, tenho outro concierto aqui em Polônia e depois posso fazer. Um, Piotr. Tchaikovsky is my favorite composer from early childhood, but uh, yes, I have a Facebook page, but uh, you have to write my full name. Can somebody in Polish write here? G-R-Z-E-G-O-R-Z -E -E and then my second name, Niemczuk. Then you will find my fan page. There is quite a lot of things on my fan page, actually, on Facebook. I'm quite active on Facebook. I don't have Instagram. I used to have it, like, Half, one and a half year ago but there are too many crazy people like following me and writing to me and that I couldn't handle this so I just thank you Bartosz, thank you Mateusz so I just had to I, I decided to just quit uh, Instagram and, and focus on Facebook um, so there is a re video of me playing this <laughs> The October, which I recommend to you because it's the love of my life, I will say, this piece. Uh, but I love to listen to Tchaikovsky, especially his symphonies. And of course, piano concertos, of course, violin concerto, and, and, and well, everything, actually, because I don't know, maybe my parents were listening when I was a baby or something, but this music just vibrates with me, with my personality and with my sensitivity the most. Of course, I love all the other composers, most of them. Uh, but uh, June, a uh, Barcarolle is also beautiful. Of course, I played it also. Uh, but Tchaikovsky is like like my 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 heart, very very close to my heart. Guys, thank you very much, and I have to go. So see you in the future. Uh, I can't tell you exactly when, but thank you, muchas gracias, obrigado, dziękuję, dobranoc.